Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x minus 5 times x minus 7 times x plus 11 times x plus 13 is equal to 160. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. Since 11 minus 5 is equal to 6 and 13 minus 7 is equal to 6. So, we combine these two terms uh, x minus 5 and uh, x plus 11 and we combine these two terms uh, x minus 7 and uh, x plus 13. So, this will become x minus 5 times uh, x plus 11 times uh, x minus 7 times x plus 13 is equal to 160. Now, we expand these two expressions x minus 5 times x plus 11. This will become x squared plus 11 times x minus 5 times x minus 55. Times uh, we expand these two expressions x minus 7 times x plus 13. This will become x squared plus uh, 13 times x minus 7x minus 91 is equal to 160. Now we further simplify this will become x squared plus uh, 6 times x minus 55 times x squared plus 6 times x minus 91 is equal to 160. Next, x squared plus 6 times x minus 55 times x squared plus 6 times x since uh, here we have negative 55, so we can rewrite this uh, negative 91 as uh, negative 55 minus 36 is equal to 160. We suppose that uh, this expression x squared plus uh, 6x minus 55 is equal to t. Let x squared plus uh, 6 times x minus 55 is equal to t. So, this equation will become t times t minus 36 is equal to 160. Now, we distribute this t, this will become t times t, t squared t times negative 36 negative 36 t move this 160 to the left hand side this will become negative 160 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable we write this t squared t squared and we break this negative 36 t into negative 40 times t plus 4 times t minus 160 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out t in bracket left t minus 40. And from these two terms, we can factor out plus 4 in bracket left t minus 40 is equal to 0. And this t minus 40 is a common factor. So, we factor out this t minus 40 and in bracket left t plus 4 is equal to 0. From here either this expression t minus 40 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of t is equal to 40 and from this equation, we get the value of t is equal to negative 4. Now, recall that we have supposed x squared plus 6 times x minus 55 is equal to t. 
We have supposed that uh, x squared plus uh, 6 times x minus 55 is equal to t. So, when t is equal to 40, then this equation will become x squared plus uh, 6 times x minus 55 is equal to 40. Move this 40 to the left hand side, this will become x squared plus uh, 6 times x minus 55 minus 40 is equal to 0 and this will become x squared plus uh, 6 times x minus 95 is equal to 0. This quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b is 6 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 6 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 95 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to negative 6 plus minus square root of this 6 squared will become 36. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 95 will become plus 380 divided by 2 times 1, 2. Next, x is equal to negative 6 plus minus square root of this 36 plus 380 will become 416 divided by 2 and uh, x is equal to negative 6 plus minus uh, this is square root of uh, 416 can be written as uh, square root of uh, 16 times uh, 26 divided by 2. Next x is equal to negative 6 plus minus this will become root 16 times root 26 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 6 plus minus root 16 is 4 times root 26 divided by 2. Next x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in back left negative 3 plus minus 2 times uh, root 26 divided by 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and uh, from here we get uh, 2 values of x. x1 is equal to negative 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, root 26 and second value of x is equal to negative 3 minus 2 times root 26. Now, we solve the second case when t is equal to negative 4 then this will become x squared plus 6 times x minus 55 is equal to negative 4. Move this negative 4 to the left hand side, this will become x squared plus 6 times x minus 55 plus 4 is equal to 0. This will become x squared plus 6 times x negative 55 plus 4 will become negative 51 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b is 6 plus minus square root of in place of b squared, we write 6 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 51 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative 6 plus minus square root of this 6 squared will become 36. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 51 will become plus 
204 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to negative 6 plus minus square root of this 36 plus 204 will become 240 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 6 plus minus this square root of 240 can be written as a square root of 16 times 15 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to negative 6 plus minus this will become root 16 times root 15 divided by 2 and uh, x is equal to negative 6 plus minus uh, root 16 will become 4 times uh, root 15 divided by 2 next x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left uh, negative 3 plus minus uh, 2 times uh, root 15 divided by 2 and uh, this uh, 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and uh, from here we get uh, other 2 values of x third value of x is equal to negative 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, root 15 the fourth value of x is equal to negative 3 minus 2 times uh, root 15 so, we have uh, four real solutions of uh, this equation.